All right, so are we ready to get ready? Are we ready to get ready? Are we ready to get ready? <laughs> get I think started. we've been ready. I've been you sitting here even for like 30 minutes. I know, I have it. So I've been moving around everywhere. <laughs> All right, so we're going to wait for um, our video crew to leave. All right. Awesome. <laughs> HR. <laughs> HR. <laughs> um, how come I didn't get a straw? Uh, I didn't I get one either. This. That's this mine. That's my stuff, Danielle. This is my straw. I brought Selfish. it for my fish. Hopefully you guys can hear us well. If you can't, if there's any problems, please let us know. Um, and we, I, I don't know, where, did, where are we starting off at? Um, Welcoming everybody? We were all going to take a shot. Oh, um, okay. Well, no, let we me make not. sure we're all set up here. All right, cool. <laughs> no, we're not. I'll <laughs> take a shot okay. of this. Yeah. So, all right, let me go ahead and officially welcome everybody to our very first podcast of 2021. Yes. And then also, today is a really special day. Not only is it April Fool's, but April Fool's is the day that we, Yadir and I, launched this podcast two it years is. ago. Is so, it really? Yeah. T- that's why it was a big deal. We did it on April 1st. Wow. Like, we had to do it So if someone was going to play a prank on you, would they probably do it today? Um, would they do it today? Yeah. What do you mean? Like a prank? Like, would they probably do it today on April Fool's Day? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wanna, do you want to hear a funny thing that my dad always says? Yeah, oh, but you got to talk in your mic. Sorry, my bad. So this makes my mom so mad. And every April Fool's, he always puts a rubber band on the um, squirty thingy in the kitchen, like on the sink. So when she turns <laughs> on the kitchen sink, the spray thing just sprays her with water <gasps> every single year. <laughs> I would be pissed. Yeah, she gets so mad. She turns into, like, a demon. And then she has to go to work, so she gets super mad. And it's so funny. With wet hair. That's nice. Yeah. Well. Somebody said happy second anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. And to that, we are going to cheers Woo! with some margaritas Yay! from our neighbors. So happy cheers. birthday, Rebel Femme. And thank you guys for Woo! joining us. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you got confused. Like an April Fool's <laughs> joke like that. She um, set it up for me. Oh my god! <laughs> I literally have to scoop out this confetti from my drink. You got my on drink. the limes. All right. Sorry. All right. That's so okay. <laughs> in today's podcast, to kick it off, we are going to be doing a couple things. We're going to give you some updates of what's been going on with Rebel Femme in general. So Rebel Femme Salon podcast and shop. And then we're also going to play a little game of truth or drink. So, um, well, I guess we'll kind of get into that in a little bit. So, yeah, welcome back. You are now listening to Rebel Femme Podcast. An honest conversation about hair, life, and everything super random. (laughs) Hopefully we still laugh that way after all these drinks we're about to take. (laughs) Okay, so what's on the agenda, Yadira? Because I am blind, and Your I don't. Glasses are right there. I know, but I don't have my computer because we're using the computer <laughs> to hook up all this stuff. Here, let, let me help you here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we wanted to talk about a few things since 2020 has passed. Okay. Um, there have been <laughs> some changes, like our team is growing. Yes, we have. A new team member on, um, well, one new team member? One. Yeah, Becca's on it last time. Okay, yeah, that's right. Becca was in it last time. Sorry, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see your face. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Just make sure you're talking in the mic. But, um, yeah, so we have a new stylist on board. Her name is Jackie, and we're really excited to have her on. Um, where's our... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so um, Jackie just started like a couple of weeks ago, um, and we're really, really excited that our team is growing. Um, so now we have three stations available at our salon. Um, but we've also, what else? Added a few new services. Added some new services. So now Becca, <laughs> um, for those of you that don't know, this is Danielle. Sorry, we didn't introduce her. But I'm Morella. I'm Yadira. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and Danielle is not only our hairstylist 
and social media manager and marketing manager and assistant to me. And uh, she does lots and lots of things. I'm lash artist. She's also a lash artist. So in addition to the lash artistry, we just launched um, waxing. So Becca does oh, yeah. facial waxing and basically like pretty much like upper body waxing. I wouldn't say she does any lower body the hair down there waxing so <laughs> yeah. but on wednesdays uh she does wax wednesday so it's 30 percent off on all of your waxing services so it's already pretty like decently priced and then 30 percent off of that you're just getting a great deal <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, seriously. so make sure you book your appointments Yes, you can book your appointments. <laughs> I'm just, just going to be eating get, confetti. Oh, I got two of them yeah, there. Got two of them. <laughs> this should be like actual edible confetti, then I'd be fine with it. <laughs> we should have gotten like um, edible glitter. That would have been good. Kind of like edible panties. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How do those really? Not really, but... I don't know. I think we opened up a package of them once, and we tried them, and they're not really that great. No, they're not. <laughs> okay, what's next? <laughs> And yes, you can book all of your appointments online if you go to rebelfem.com. Um, and there's a, a booking site or button there. You can go to our booking site. And we're going to be, what, adding some new services? Is that what's next? Uh, we are going to be doing monthly giveaways oh, on Instaham. Yes. Okay. So this is actually Danielle's project. We do giveaways. So this has been something I actually mentioned um, in our stories today. So for our monthly giveaways... Um, you tell them what the monthly giveaways are and how they enter. So every month on Instagram, I'll be posting something, and it kind of just dep depends on what the prize is. Sometimes um, it's a free service, and then sometimes it's just full-size products. So um, for February, we did a Valentine's Day giveaway where um, one of your dearest clients and her bestie um, got free deep conditioning treatments and a little goodie bag. For and, a, free. and a blowout. Yeah. yeah, and a blowout for free. So For free. So this for this podcast episode, which will actually give me launching on Monday, so we're recording it live for you right now. Um, if you are watching right now or if you're listening, um, the benefit of you watching is you get to actually see. But if you're watching right now and you want to enter into the Rebel Femme podcast giveaway – um, all you have to do is go to your favorite streaming platform like Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or Spotify, um, and you will uh, and you rate the show. So hopefully it's a nice rating and you love us. Yes. Um, then you get automatically entered to win these Olaplex products, which these are a really hot ticket item. I just really wanted to give you guys something super special, but it is the number four, five, and three. Um, so basically shampoo, conditioner, and the treatment that goes along with it. Um, and I believe it retails for what? What's 28 times three? 28 times three. I don't know what 28 times three is. Hold on. We're going to find out. We are hairdressers. We have a $84. calculator. $84. That's so, a lot of free money. Yeah. And I'll even throw in some extra little goodies in there. So that'll be valued over $100. So all you have to do, go rate the show and leave us some nice reviews. You'll automatically be entered to win. And then um, we will reach out to you from there. Hopefully. And also write down your Instagram handle or how we can contact you. So. It's like That's magic it. in a bottle. <laughs> All right. What's up next? Oh, sorry. I was reading a comment. Somebody said, JRLS underscore design says, I need to come back and get my hair cut. It's been too long. Please do. Yes. We I'll, miss you. Go to, the, go to the website. See what mm -hmm. else is new on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next up was, we no longer have our plant babies. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. So if you've listened to our podcast in the past, we always talk about our plant babies and how many added plant babies we brought in here. <laughs> um, sadly, because we were running um, a speakeasy for a little bit and our... Allegedly. Allegedly. Oh. <laughs> we had paper up on the window, so all of our plant babies didn't get any light. They were not happy. And they were literally dying before our eyes. Slowly. So I took... All of them home, including the $100 fig. 
<laughs> you didn't do it. They were killing them slowly. A hundred dollars for that my paper. fig. Yes, I, I, my plant babies that were here were well, well worth a lot of money. Ah, yeah, jeez. And then Yadira had to take home these lily things. I don't even know what they were, but flamingo lilies, flamingo lilies, and they Aww. were so beautiful. But um, the only person that those flamingo lilies like are Yadira's mom's hands. So. There you go. She got to take them. <laughs> and then Harley got to destroy them. That's a whole, oh, no. whole other story. <laughs> All right. What's next on the agenda? Uh, we are starting classes again now that things are a little Ooh. bit better. Yes. So at the end of the month in April, there's actually three tickets left. Um, if you are a hairstylist or aspiring hairstylist that wants to learn all the different methods of hair extensions, we're hosting a babe hair extensions class um, at the end of April. It's a two-day hands-on class, and you get a kit and everything. If you want more details, just all you have to do is DM us, and we will um, connect you with the distributor that's selling the tickets. Yes. Yeah. All right, what else? Sorry, reading comment. I need a haircut, too. George, you get free haircuts. Go away. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just had a class uh, oh, yeah. this week, actually. The oh, Moroccan, Moroccan oil, oil PK oh, class. Oh, yeah, that's right. We had a Moroccan oil hands-on product knowledge class. It was really great. Oh, you go ahead and that share some. That was really fun. So it was a kind of a rundown of all of the products that Moroccan oil has. And the um, educator brought doll heads. So we were able to actually practice using the products um, as well as the um, deep conditioning masks that were super colorful. And we got to mix and match them. Um and Becca had a really, she really liked the root boost. She did a really good blowout, and the root was like two inches high. I was totally listening, but yes, the root boost was like two inches high. <laughs> I think if you went to her stories, I don't know if they're still up or not, but. On Becca's? No, probably Yeah, not. that She's literally, fine. like, the hair was, like, sticking straight yeah, out. Was crazy. And I thought she was, like placed the hair but no yeah, I, I, I was like what is this and then she like actually went to go touch it and she's like oh <laughs> <laughs> i ran my fingers through it and it popped right back up <laughs> um rainbow way creation says sounds like fun i love extensions you should <laughs> totally take the class um we're right here okay so do we have anything else oh i think that was the website yeah so these are a few things that you can expect from the salon coming up Okay. Some exciting things to come, like trendy new services that had nothing to do with websites. <laughs> but more to come on that. Yes, more to come <laughs> on the new services that we're going to be offering. So definitely check back on the website. Um, I'm really excited about our new services that we're going to be offering. And it's, it's not just extensions. We're going to be doing some exciting added color services. So, yeah. All right. <laughs> so speaking of the website, we are working on the Rebel Femme shop page just to make it a little bit more shoppable for you guys. Yep. And we are going to be adding on some new merch. merch. Yay! Since our <laughs> mugs sold out and our yeah. WAP shirts. Yeah, so I'm really excited about the merch because we've had lots of support. Wow, that's a long. <laughs> we, they're excited. We've had lots of support from our Rebel Fem family, and um, if you have a merch idea that you would totally be down for purchasing or maybe receiving for free with a purchase, um, definitely DM us and let us know. So we got like tote bags on the list, some stickers. Maybe some more mugs. I actually had a, a shot glass idea, which I will oh, not mention what the little, idea is here. We should do little hats. We should do wine glass tumblers. Oh, oh my God. You wait till I tell you because I had to write it down. I was like, I'm not going to remember this. <laughs> 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 All right. What's next? Uh, April sale. Yeah. Do we have anything on that, Danielle? Um, Putting her on the spot. <laughs> do we have anything on that? Uh, we, that's to, to be determined. April Fool's, we... Um, we'll get back to you later on that one. Aww. Voices. Boo. <laughs> I've been busy up. today, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I okay. didn't even realize it was, it was April today. If you want to know more about our sale that's every month, including the giveaways or anything that's about Rebel Femme, all you have to do oh, is go... <laughs> Is all you have to do is go to the website again and sign up for our mail list, and mm -hmm. um, we will send you updates. And I promise we don't send you a bunch of spam or anything crazy. Yeah, it's we, just once a month. Yeah, about once a month. 
maybe an extra one here or there yeah to let you know about something Just exciting like, it gives you updates on people that are in the salon the updates on the um podcast podcast the horoscope posts different sales that are going on the blogs that are going on promotion services anything that you'd want to know about the salon to yeah. save you money or get an experience here exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, JRLS underscore design says, yes, wine tumbler is here for it. Yes. Uh, I'm me too. Actually, Adira made me a wine tumbler. It's super cute. And, um, I broke it and then she made me another one and I can't use it yet because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Down. What's a wine tumbler? <laughs> it's like those, um, little wine glasses that oh, are stemless. Just without, okay. Got it. Yeah. All right. You wouldn't know what that is because you just turned 21. I know. No. Why would you? Because <laughs> I was born in not in the 1900s, mm. so it's mm. fine. <laughs> All right. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. So some other news. Marella started her own podcast, Ooh. Airbnb. Oh. Yes, I actually almost forgot about that. And about that today. has been or. Working on reopening your um, online course? Yeah, so Ooh. I just launched my own podcast. Um, I know I'm crazy. I have two podcasts <laughs> <laughs> um, and a salon and an online course. But my podcast is more for hairstylists. Um, it's called Hair B&B. You can find it on all streaming platforms. And Hair B&B stands for Hair Beauty and Business. And I'm all about simplifying and streamlining your beauty biz. So if you want to get, you know, tips and tricks and just business advice, marketing, um, like literally anything business related, according to hairstylists and salons, um, definitely go check it out. And then I'm literally fine tuning all of the things for my online course, learn how to upstyle in seven days. I'm adding some lots more videos on there. I'm redoing the sales page and all kinds of stuff. And that's something that Danielle's going to be helping me with. Too. <laughs> it's, it's a really good course um, because I feel like it really breaks everything down, like super basic step by step. And the nice thing about it is you can go back and rewatch it. And there's homework that holds you accountable for actually practicing, which I feel like you don't really get with other courses and also like YouTube and stuff. Totally. And I think we're going to be revamping some of the horm homework as well. So I'm excited oh, about yay. that. <laughs> Me so too. How can someone find out when your course reopens? Oh, yes. Um, thank you for asking me that. <laughs> so all you have to do is go to my website. Um, and I think there might be a link somewhere on Rebel Femmes, but you can go to my website, uh, which is morellamanelli.com or you can go on my Instagram at Marella Manelli. Um We'll make sure we'll add it in the comments down below um, this podcast live and then also in the description. But um, you just go to morellamanelli.com. You can sign up for the wait list. And then as soon as you sign up for the wait list, you'll get a couple emails from me with some extra little things in there. Um, and then, yeah. And it's a lifetime membership. Yes, it is a lifetime membership. <laughs> that, that is correct. So <laughs> no, it's true, though. Like, once you have it, you have it forever. Um, and just to kind of give you, like, a sneak peek, I'm really trying to build this course into a super course. So if you get in early now, it's, like, the best time because the price eventually will be up there. And there's a <laughs> lot of um, tutorials on there that I've never seen on YouTube before, like, certain um pictures that she's posted like a really long time ago she's done tutorials step by steps on how um to do them and they're very popular and i feel like you should most definitely go sign up if you can turn on the camera it shut off oh <laughs> <laughs> all right where are we at <laughs> whoops technical um, difficulties free education youtube Oh, okay. She's just getting me all, like, given all the information. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, you can also, in addition to um, getting on the wait list, if you want free education, because we all like free education, totally. you can also go to my YouTube, which is all under Morella Manelli. I even have, like, small little um, micro educational pieces on Instagram and TikTok. But if you want, like, in-depth color tutorials, go to my YouTube Um I've been working on like kind of uploading probably like at least two to four a month right oh, now. Nice. Yeah. But also on TikTok, what's nice about that is she can like directly respond to your comments. So if you have any questions, mm -hmm. she can make like a whole video about it. 
A 60 second video. A 60 second video. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have more questions, just book an appointment and you can have a whole hour at least. <laughs> I could, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so now we can move on to the fun stuff. Yay! In celebration of our second birthday, Yay! we're going to play a little truth or drink. Oh, God. <laughs> And we included Danielle in this because she just turned 21 last Woo! month. So, um, Woo! happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, your present at home. Woo! What is it? What is it? <laughs> Woo! Wait, hold on. I have it? a message from HR. Okay. <laughs> uh, they say, HR says, you guys are doing a good job. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, HR. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you tell me what the present is? No, I can't. You have to go home and open it. But they want to know. No. Mm -mm. Nobody's asked. You can make... You can <laughs> Somebody make, ask. I want to know. <laughs> you can make a story and share it on Rebel Femme. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. And you could even use it, too, and let me know how you like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What else? That's it. Let's play. Okay. Let's play. Okay. Woo! All right, Shot just lessons. a little reminder for those of you that have chimed in a little late, if you want to... Um, get in on the giveaway for this podcast and win all of these amazing Olaplex products. And all you have to do is go to um, your favorite streaming platform and leave us a review. And hopefully it's a nice one and then you're automatically entered to win. <laughs> Carla M. Rodriguez says, I'm a chismosa. I want to know what that present is. What does all that right. mean? Uh, nosy? Nosy. Uh, yeah. Me too, girl. Okay, <laughs> I will give you a hint. Is that Harry Styles? <laughs> no, it's not Harry Styles. Compact. It's really not that exciting. I don't want you to get all hyped up for okay. something no, super okay. exciting. I got you something from Sephora. That's all <gasps> I'll say. I like Sephora. And then if you don't like it, you can go to Sephora and exchange it. So. I like I like <laughs> Sephora. Um, and, and I got you some nice things from Sephora. Okay. They are. I'm excited. I was told what they were. And I, I now I'm excited. And That's I even exciting. wrote you a little note in there, too. Aww. Aww. Yeah, I know. <laughs> HR asked, Yay. is that pi pineapple high C in Danielle's cup? No, yeah. it's not because I'm 21. <laughs> and I got the margaritas. So. Woo! With your ID? Actually, no. <laughs> Karina's like, I know it's your birthday. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, so let's play this game. It's called Truth or Drink, Yadira. Got it off of Amazon, I think, right? Uh, it's actually from a website. They do okay. YouTube videos. Website that does YouTube videos. Sorry, Heads website. <laughs> okay, are these the questions? So how yes, are we they doing are. this? Um, who wants to go first? Who wants to... I think Danielle should go first because she is the newbie. Does she have to answer the question first or does she have to read the question first? Oh. If it's red, I can't do it. Should we tell no, I'm not kidding. No, it's fine. Don't say anything. Okay, let's do it. I'll go first. You'll go first? Is yeah. she reading or doing? No, She's, I think... She'll do it. Okay, read the question in the mic. Oh, what's a personal demon you are in denial about? The fact that I'm super gossipy and super... How do, how, she's may... How do you she's say Mosa? She's mosa -y. Just so you know, Danielle's last name is Mendoza. Yeah. <laughs> It's pathetic. I know. I'm so sorry. I think that was like one of the first things I asked her. Do you speak Spanish? No. No. Okay. okay. I used to say, but I I feel like I am improving. Not really, but kind of. Yeah. Because I used to say carnitas, and now I say carnitas. <laughs> it sounded exactly the same. No, it didn't. <laughs> Did it really? There was a different inflection in her nitas. Yeah, carnitas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. So the way this game works is that we're going to read a question and then you have to either answer it or you're supposed to drink. drink. And we have shot glasses here. Of but I'm going to drink this. No, she's just drinking a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get away with it. All right. I'll go ahead and pick this one. I'm really bad at answering questions. Ooh. True or, True or false? Sometimes it's okay to have unprotected sex. <laughs> Okay, well, I've been married almost 20 years, so yes, it's totally okay to have unprotected sex. That's how that she has four fair. kids. <laughs> That's how I have four kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're hilarious. <laughs> That's where that came from. <laughs> but if you're not married, and then no, I don't think it is. is that, that's the question? Yeah. Okay. You can answer the bottom one if you weren't satisfied with that last one. Oh, uh, was it? 
Um, there are multiple? Yeah. Oh, I think... <laughs> no, I think it's... The first one is you're supposed to answer, but the second one is, like, we're supposed to answer it, I think. Because this one, it says, what is what personal demon are you in denial about? And the bottom of the B one says, do you think I'm continuing to grow, or is it the best person... Or is this the best... Oh, maybe not. No. Okay. It's just different questions. One Got question. So you can ask. All right, here you go, Yadira. Uh, this is so you can get to know us a little bit better. <laughs> so. <laughs> Would you be or have you been a guest star in another couple's bedroom? No and no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I told you we're not going to drink to any of these. We're, like, pretty boring. Yeah. I know. Pretty, um... Granola. <laughs> How sad. What is something you've done to try and be cool? Hmm. Probably, <laughs> probably like play water polo, which is the hardest fucking sport ever. <laughs> and it's not that fun, especially when you don't want to play. I don't know. I, had a, I probably have a better one, but I'll just drink because I don't really know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is anyone, um, if you guys have any stories that you want to share, you're more than welcome to write those yes, down, please too. Yes, <laughs> No, somebody was just laughing at my guest star. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's the most kick-ass you've ever felt? Gosh, I don't know. I feel like, can I answer it for you? Sure. I feel like it was when all the Silverado kids were, like, being super annoying. <laughs> no, I have Do you know a better one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> Go. It's when you were getting your hair done, eating fried chicken, telling people not to park <laughs> in the slut's parking spot because they were parking there from Popeyes. Don't park here with yeah. your chicken stick. Yeah. What was it? <laughs> chicken stick. My ch <laughs> <laughs> so I had a drumstick, a free chicken from Popeyes because they had just opened but if you so hypocritical. were part of the I know if you were part of the whole Popeyes debacle that we had to go through with no parking for our clients or anything I had to maintain the parking lot so yeah I was out there with a piece of I chicken like Caitlin was like the yeah. most upset oh yeah <laughs> but yeah definitely I was like rawr <laughs> but um <laughs> and all cape on oh my gosh I don't know what I guess, like, probably the most kick-ass I've ever felt was when I got my Kenra professional job. Oh, As an educator. Cute. That's because something I always wanted to do. But it's a much nicer one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Next question. She's afraid to ask it. I just don't know what the other word means, so I'm going to ask the question B. <laughs> <laughs> okay but i think this is for you guys okay do you think i'm too clingy or demand too much attention no, no. cool <laughs> she's she i feel like you're the type of person that you're like oh you don't like me i really don't give a fuck yeah fuck it yeah. yeah you you really don't and everyone's scared of you so yeah i've called you a fart before <laughs> you're silent but deadly <laughs> oh that is true there you go <laughs> let's, let's not make that catch on please <gasps> oh my gosh i actually want to know this this is for you guys. Who would play me in the Oscar-winning film about my life? Oh. This is a good one. Who would play you? I don't really know any actors, really. So that's all you. I'm terrible with pop culture, if you don't know this already. I don't know. I have no clue. What? Addison Ray. She's <laughs> literally not an actress. Well, she could be because she's a actually, singer no, now. Actually, I actually so. think she is an actor. I think she does. Anybody show. Watch, watching have an answer? Yeah, if someone don't be mean, okay, you will get blocked. <laughs> Taylor, you're watching. Can you answer? <laughs> yeah, the I only know, acceptable answer is Megan Fox. I'm just kidding. This Megan Fox. Funny, oh so well, you know what? Someone. This is like I kind of I see it. Someone actually told me like when I was an, a freshman in high school. So when I had With like your dark, dark hair, hair yeah, I looked like Megan Fox, and I was like. Okay. I totally see it. You don't have her thumb, though. Yeah, her toe thumbs. I. That's okay. George does. <laughs> Aw. George, she called you out. Okay, I don't know why I keep getting all these extra dirty ones. It's because you were comfortable with answering okay, them. Okay, this is, this is just no. That's just inappropriate. Uh, shut. 
Uh, I just no. Let's. I'll read it and I'll answer it. I just feel like you're not gonna really want to. It's kind of. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> you want to know? I, obviously, the answer is no. I'll answer it for you. Okay, just so you guys, I'm gonna answer a different question. But this literally says, "Have you ever been paid for porn?" Obviously, no for me. Um, Morella, didn't you? Aren't you literally the one that wants to start an OnlyFans? For the salon. <laughs> like, for the salon, I do. Seriously? I want to start an OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, wait, we've got some Totham <laughs> things on here now. <laughs> Carla M. <laughs> Rodriguez says, Totham's, we call them turtle thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> and then George responded, My Totham's provide me extra grip while I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. That's so funny. Um, okay. When was the last time you cried? What happened? And do you need a hug? Oh. <laughs> The last time I cried was probably, oh, I can tell you. So the last time I cried was actually recently because my son um, oh, yeah. uh, has uh, three songs on the Rod Wave album. And it was just kind of like I got really teary eyed just seeing like knowing he's growing up and he's pursuing his dreams and, and all of that. So it's just kind of crazy looking That's at him. Insane. Yeah. And then just kind of. Looking at, I looked at some baby pictures and I started crying and then, yeah, that was it. And no, Aww. I don't need a hug. <laughs> don't touch me. Doesn't like hugs. Here you go. <laughs> Damn it! Why? Oh, this is for you guys. How do you know it's for you guys? Because it's, it's like a question. Like, yeah, it's a like question. Like how mine was, who would play me? Mm. You guys think would play me? Okay. <laughs> I want to know. If I had a hot brother or sister, would you let them seduce you? Yes. <laughs> if they were hot. <laughs> that doesn't mean you have to, like, date them, but... Um... You've actually seen my brother. Well, oh, on, a, on a total... I forgot to actually On a brother. total <laughs> side note, I have had a dream about Yadira, so maybe the answer is yes. <laughs> there you That's go. so funny. She wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. That's okay, what I said in my dream. A- this is another you guys question. Are you sometimes embarrassed to be seen with me? Why? No. no. <laughs> they wouldn't, they wouldn't have asked me on their podcast if. I if like you, didn't. Danielle. Oh, thanks. Same. I like you guys too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have I ever done anything you think should have gotten me shit canned? What? You like, own the. Well, I guess from Kenra. Shit can't? Doesn't that mean fired? I didn't get fired from Kenra. No, I said, have you ever? <laughs> oh, I thought that meant so I was like, say, you own this place. You can't get fired from here. Yeah, I can't get fired. <laughs> the only place or you can't get like, fired dr- from is Kenra. Does that mean drunk? Like getting shit faced? <laughs> I have no I clue. I don't know. What's shit the can't? bottom question? Are those certain situations with you me? You need your glasses. <laughs> I can't read this stuff. Are there certain situations with me? You. Oh, that's a weird question. Are there certain situations with me you avoid on purpose? Yeah, are there situations where you avoid? When I do her haircuts. <laughs> oh, yeah. When she needs her hair done. Yeah, okay, whatever. I, I, I like doing your hair, but I don't like giving you a haircut because you're like, I never like when my hair's cut. I do. I cry I when nervous. I get my hair cut. Yeah. I literally. So I do avoid that. I, I will say that, like, I've had a haircut probably from every single person, and I go home, and I'm like, I fucking hate my haircut. <laughs> It's great. Yeah. <laughs> so obviously awesome. we like to avoid that. Feels that. Great. <laughs> but then, like, it's fine. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> just Marilla. Just Marilla things. By the way, I'm going to need a haircut soon. <laughs> I'm, I'm busy that day. Ask Becca. They're amazing hairstylists and they do amazing work. It's just literally me. I don't like getting my haircut, even though I need to get my haircut. It's just a mental thing. Okay, go. If dogs and their owners are supposed to have matching personalities, what type of dog should I get? Hmm. The dog you have. Harley? Yeah. My I'm Australian dog cattle dog? Yes. Because <laughs> she's kind of weird. She is. <laughs> Don't tell Harley that. And she's really soft. <laughs> what kind fluffy. of dog would I have? <laughs> I just hit my head. Okay. <laughs> I feel like you would need a really independent dog. Like what kind? Oh, <laughs> she like 
You would need a you need like a Pomeranian. <gasps> That's not an independent dog. I know, but the way that you just your hair. Yeah. I am more of like a cat. So Yeah, you kind of are like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real here. <laughs> what kind of dog would I be? A poodle. <gasps> mm-hmm. Like a labradoodle poodle? Cuz Sam's mm. No, like, like he's no. too goofy. No, I That's think like true. I think like an actual poodle. Poodle. Okay. A standard poodle. Okay. Kind of prissy. I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> fair that's fair a little high maintenance yeah (laughs) all right (laughs) um how long did it take you to get over your last ex i'm i don't really have a lot of emotion so not super long (laughs) really yeah i mean Mm. i kind of like ended it with him so i was just like i'm so sorry i like cried and then i was like okay (laughs) (laughs) you cried even though you ended it with him yeah because i didn't want to like um I didn't like hurting his him because it wasn't really him. It was me, but whatever. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I like this question. Oh, what snack do you find the most comfort Aww. in consuming? Tortilla chips. Tortilla chips. Chips and salsa. Really? Yeah. Like legit um. chips and salsa. <laughs> that's that's all I want in life. I can eat that every day. What about guac? And guac. Anything that goes with chips. Or a taco. Have you had the queso from Chipotle? <laughs> no. So good. Does it have beef in it? No. Okay. It's so good. <laughs> so I guess I'm asking you, guys, what do we do on our first date? What do we do? Mm-hmm. What would we do on our first date? Go Probably. to Disneyland. Oh. Fuck yeah. Or like Boba or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then play video games. I yeah. would like to do that. Can we go no. to Disneyland? Animal for our Crossing. First date? Yeah. Then we'll play Animal Crossing. Yeah. Mm. And then we'll go to Michael's. Oh yeah. Yes. Why don't get we some go crafts, to and then Disneyland we'll do crafts and together. play Let's Animal go. Crossing in line for Space Mountain or like something long, and then we could drink boba while we're there also. See, Speaking George, I'm coming for your girl. <laughs> ding 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 ding. I like the second um, <laughs> question on that one. Which was what? Have you ever pooped yourself as an adult? No, wait, kind of. Can I tell this? It's so funny. Please. So make sure you're in time, the mic so we can keep okay, this on the so record. Don't tell my sister. I'm it's so funny. Don't tell so your when sister. I was in high Hi, school, sister. When I was in high school, one time I was wearing her like it was pajama day, right? So I was wearing her onesie and when I was in this is kind of team I when I was I just didn't like wearing underwear that often. So but it was like really is it like the high school thing? Because I didn't either. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't like it. But then when I was wearing, weird. like, a really low kind of crotch, like, pajama thing. And so I was like, maybe, like, I, it was too much for, like, public, you know? So I was like, okay, I'll wear underwear. And then I went to the, go to the bathroom. <laughs> I forgot I was wearing. <laughs> oh, I no. forgot I was wearing underwear. So then I went to the bathroom in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I had that thought It was day. so funny. And then I, like, went to go wipe, and I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess kind of. <laughs> you have a question. Yeah, I have a question. Carla have just, I ever... S- sorry. Good, Carla. sorry, Carla said, okay, all my stories start with don't tell my sister. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I was, like, wearing her pajama thing. <laughs> she has a sister, too. So, yeah. <laughs> She's just and she like, probably Aw. totally gets it. <laughs> I want a sister, but then I don't want a sister. No. I have you to do her a part-time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever stolen anything? What... And why? And do you still have it? Um, the only thing that I've almost ever stolen was literally when I was, like, in elementary school. And I wanted, like, a piece of candy from the grocery store. And then my mom saw it and she got really mad at me. And then I have just felt so guilty. So then I obviously put it back but then never stolen anything again. Because I just am so... I have such a guilty conscience that, like, something that's not even a big deal is such a big deal to me. So, no, I have not. <laughs> I stole some... Uh, bangles from Mervyn's, if you remember oh, what Mervyn's, Mervyn's was. Yes. Um, when I was about seven. Oh, wow. And I was really sneaky about it. I took them because my mom told me she wouldn't buy them for me. So I wore them anyways. And I walked out of the store. We drove all the way home. And she saw the bangles that I was wearing because I was like, ooh, like I was like so cool. <laughs> and then she, of course, was really pissed. And then we drove back and we gave back the bangles. I don't know why, but I feel like no the bangles. way that you just described that just makes me picture Kasima. Yeah. Doesn't like Kasima's my daughter. Yeah, she's like 
don't do that, Kasima. And then she like looks at you and is just like, I'm just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> that's how I was. Poor thing. <laughs> we playing fire with fire, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, I don't know why I keep getting the sex questions. Oh, what was it? <laughs> Where was the strangest place you've ever had sex? HR is watching this. Gotta be careful. <laughs> you have to take a shot. I've been with ask. HR for <laughs> my whole life. You so. have to take a shot. Take I've, a shot? Yep. No, yep. I can say what it is. It's just the car. It's not exciting. It's I just told you I'm, I'm boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's your question. You can't skip. What is it? What is it? <laughs> so one's really sweet and then one's really funny. Should I, which one do you guys want? The funny. <laughs> Describe your worst bathroom related disaster. Oh, if you mix me and sour cream, it's not going to go oh well. Oh my God. I can't believe we're going here on this podcast. Oh, is that your question or was it our question? <laughs> it's mine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but mine what? is kind of on the same line yeah we have had this conversation actually this morning yeah <laughs> so taco bell had a oh <laughs> george just said he dare stole my heart Aww. with what, <laughs> uh, <laughs> with, with what? With what was it <laughs> your bathroom incident <laughs> but i didn't even share it yet <laughs> oh you did it <laughs> okay Sorry. There was this one time where Amy and I thought we could be... Um, and Amy's your best friend. Yes. Uh, Martha Stewart. <laughs> and we decided to bake a shit ton of cupcakes. Tell me why I ate all the raw batter. <gasps> Ew. <laughs> Not all of it, but a lot of it. Were you high? Oh, like cookie dough? No. Like, <laughs> as if it was like cookie dough, that's how you ate it? Yeah. Uh, why? It was I really I think good. it's all salmonella. That's all I can think about is salmonella. Well... But, like, cake batter doesn't even taste good. It did. Oh. Yeah, I think cake batter does taste good, but it it's did. so bad for you. It is. It was. It was. It was <laughs> It was awful the next morning Oh. when I had to go to my special effects class. <gasps> <laughs> I did not go to that class. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> my turn? Yep. Okay. What best represents me as a friend? A weighted blanket, a spin class, or a wine tasting? Wine hmm. tasting wine tasting why wait what was it weighted, weighted blanket, blanket spin class or wine tasting i don't feel like you're go 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 no. maybe the weighted blanket with wine with tasting wine tasting yeah okay you're like right in that. between those two i i can yes i agree with that all right awesome <laughs> <laughs> all right again why don't you just what? skip these ones i know that's what i'm trying to say so you get something okay what advice do I need but don't want to hear? <laughs> oh. Hmm. You need to slow down. Yeah, that's exactly do what I was thinking. at one time. I do. Pace yourself, lady. Yeah. Okay. Every time I talk to her, she's like, I need to do this, 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 and this, oh, and this. That turned off again. And this. Oh. But yeah. they're all really good ideas. That's what's like hard because it's like yeah I have a lot of ideas yeah which like is so too fun too many ideas no but they're all good ideas and they're all like you totally can do all of them but there's just not enough time in the day unfortunately okay Yadira oh, no. do you want me to ask your question sure this is Yadira's question mm. if I didn't have my current job what do you see me doing yeah what do you see um, me doing um I think. Either, like, an interior designer or, like, something to do with, like, um, something creative. Like, I do not see you behind a desk at all. Like, something, like, Yadira put this up by herself. Like, she's super crafty. Oh, why are you laughing? I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was going to say, um, I see you um, working at <laughs> Michael's creating the little flower bouquet. <laughs> Can I say that I had a dream, <laughs> a goal at one point to own my own oh my flower shop? <laughs> Aw, that's See? cute. That was right on point. Also, I just realized that and I, I was trying to go to this... interior design school. <laughs> See, so we're both right. <laughs> that's I also had pink stuff in my hair this whole time and none of you felt like telling me. 
No, no it looks great. <laughs> well, I got it out. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think we've kind of like asked a lot of questions. Hopefully you guys got to know us a little bit better and maybe a little bit too much. I don't know. That was completely useless. It was. Well, that was fun. I told you we weren't going to drink too much. Like, you guys didn't even drink half your thing. Um, I am definitely five-eighths down. <laughs> I'm right. about the same. Yeah. I think it's because I had a straw. Okay. So where are we at here? To wrap mm-hmm. this podcast up for our listeners and viewers. Wait, also, what? Um, I think I was supposed to probably say this earlier, but um, on Tuesday through Friday, all of our sale products are ten dollars each, and on Saturdays we have flash sales, so all of our sale products are five dollars each while supplies last. Flash, flash, which, flash. <laughs> by the way, even professionals at the like stores don't even get it for that cheap. So. Nope. You should um, head on over. It's in store only. Yes. But we still have like a good selection. Yes. So come Five dollars, you guys, or ten dollars during the week. And Easter, if the Easter Bunny may have uh, forgotten to get some things, perhaps <laughs> you could get some some Easter Bunny stuffers, basket stuffers. Easter Bunny stuffers. I was gonna say stocking stuffers, but that's not correct. Basket stuff. Basket stuffers. There you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong thing, wrong thing. Killing margaritas now. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and wrap this first 2021 podcast episode up. Super fun, you guys. And I hope you guys that were watching enjoyed listening to us and all of our shenanigans. One last little reminder if you want to enter into the giveaway, um, of winning these Olaplex products, go to your favorite streaming platform, um, like. Apple Podcasts, Google Play, or Spotify, and just give us a nice little review, and you automatically get entered to win. And hopefully do this before the end of April. You pretty much said my part. Did I really? Yep. Oh, make sure to follow us on our Instagram page if you haven't already, at Rebel Femme, which you're watching from right now. Yeah. If you're on our live. <laughs> and Jedi Hairmaster, and Morella Manelli, and Cosmo by Danielle. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All of them. All of them. Saturate yourself in this. <laughs> I feel like we're missing something big here. Are we? This is it? That's it. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for chiming in. We will see you next time.